had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason In this video, I'm going to give you my honest review of the celebrity Beyond Cruise. Hey there, my name is Paul Von Felt. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not the celebrity Beyond Cruise is worth it. Lisa and I recently went on the cruise and want to give you an honest review of what it was like so that you can make an informed decision about whether or not to go on it yourself. The Celebrity Cruise is an amazing experience. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, we were in awe and grandeur. The staff and crew were incredibly friendly and accommodating and went out of their way to make sure our stay was enjoyable. The Beyond is one of the newest ships and part of the all new Edge class cruise ships, built in France and launched April of 2021. The ship is 1,071 feet from stern to bow it has 21 decks and rises an amazing 190 feet in height, while having only a draft of 28 feet below the surface of the water. She holds 2,260 passengers and 1,400 crew members, making the staff to guest ratio almost one crew member to each guest. The staterooms have changed a bit on this ship and others as well, with a bit more sophistication and room to move. In the olden days, the standard staterooms were very small, mostly with a bed and a small closet, and maybe some drawers to put your socks and underwear in. And the bathrooms had just enough room to get business taken care of. Now they are probably twice that size, and you can actually reach your feet when bending over in the shower. In addition to that, you and your other half can brush your teeth without taking turns in the bathroom. We found the bed to be very comfortable and the pillows nice and soft. Besides that, if the pillow is not to your liking, the steward will bring you another, harder or softer. The balconies are a little different on the Beyond. Our room's balcony only had a portal type opening, but most of the balcony rooms have a full opening. The difference being, they are more part of the room and don't have the full outdoor experience the regular balcony rooms have. They do feel a little more private though. The magic carpet is a fun added feature to the Beyond. It's a bar that actually hangs over the side of the ship and moves from deck to deck throughout the cruise. Here you can get your favorite drink as you float over the water with one of the best views on the boat. The area they call the garden is a nice place to hang out on the ship. The Packers were playing the first night we were aboard and they were showing the game on the big screen that is located here. They also show big screen movies here during the cruise. So you could enjoy a movie under the stars while sailing through the Caribbean and sipping on your favorite cocktail. As with all cruises, the Beyond has a very nice fitness center on board with great views while you work off that last big meal. They have all the machines you would expect in any good gym. In addition to that, they also offer a few Pilates and yoga classes throughout the day. It's worth talking about some of the drink packages that are available during your cruise. The Beyond offers a few different packages to choose from. As for the alcoholic drinks, you can buy a regular all-you-could-drink package, and then they offer another one for a bit more, and it includes top-shelf drinks as well. If you decide to buy a drink package, make sure you do so in advance, as the prices go up substantially once on board the ship. As for Lisa and I, we have never been able to make the drink package worth the while, as we don't drink enough to make it worth the price. You would have to drink at least eight drinks per day per person to make up the value. Also, as a note, if you choose to buy the drink package, each adult staying in your cabin must also buy the same package. We didn't do much research on the soft drink packages, but a lot of people buy them. We did, however, find the coffee package worth the money. We like to have a coffee drink every morning, 
morning, and the coffee package comes with a specialty coffee each day at a discounted price. Each day, your room steward will deliver the next day's activity sheet to your stateroom. You can use this to plan out your next day, but we prefer to use the onboard app they give you to plan each day. Whether you use the paper or the app, we recommend planning the day so you don't miss out on an activity you want to do, as there is always lots of fun things going on. Cruises are also a good place to step outside the box and try something you wouldn't normally do at home. Cruises are a great place to get professional photos of you and your family with no obligation to buy any of them. You can have as many photo shoots done as you like. So make sure you bring your Sunday best and take advantage of this great service. Even if you're not in the market for family photos, seeing the different and sometimes funny shots the professional photographers can capture on your vacation is fun. Now Lisa, how are you? Bits, huh? Look at each other. Now both put your right arm behind Lisa. And Lisa, go from the table. Okay. And Bitsma. Kiss your cheek. Kiss his cheek. Bitsma. Now kiss each other. If you haven't taken a cruise in a while, you may be surprised by the restaurants there are to choose from on the ship. We'll talk about the choices you have later. But if you are into great meals, I suggest doing the food upgrade. Whereas the food in the main dining room is still amazing. The specialized restaurants are over the top and well worth the extra money you will spend on them. The Beyond offers a great selection of restaurants, from the main dining rooms to the many specialty restaurants. You can opt for a tailor sit-down service restaurant or choose one of their buffet style places. We found all these places to be very good and you get your money's worth in terms of quality and quantity. We tried as many restaurants as we could on the seven day cruise we are on and found all of them to be great. There are four main dining rooms on the ship that offer four different dining experiences that are all included in your cruise. Every night the specialty menu changes, but all four have the same standard menu as well. As an inside secret, if you find something you like in one of the four dining rooms and you are eating at one that does not serve that same dish you want, your waiter will be happy to bring that dish from the other restaurant. I suggest you go bold and try new things while cruising. If you order something you decide it's just not for you, your waiter again will be more than happy to replace it with a different selection. So knock yourself out and order something new and exciting. If great food is your thing, then the specialty restaurant package is well worth the additional charge. For an additional $50 or so, you can experience a meal that would cost you well into the hundreds anywhere else. Make sure you book your dinner package before getting on the ship for the best deals. If the buffet is more your style, then a cruise is a place for you. The Beyond had one of the most impressive buffets I've ever seen. There is absolutely something for everyone. The Cyprus restaurant is one of the four main dining rooms that are part of the cruise, so there is no additional charge to eat here. The theme is Greek, but they still offer some non-Greek dishes that are standard in all four dining halls. To start your dinner off, your waiter will bring you a nice selection of bread with an assortment of flavored kinds of butter. I always enjoy a dinner better when they pay attention to the details, like gourmet kinds of butter, rather than the pads of butter that come individually wrapped. Just like a high-end restaurant, our waiter was very attentive and brought us a variety of Greek appetizers begin our meal. These were a sample of typical Greek favorites like stuffed grape leaves or dolmas, mini pitas, some anchovies, some marinated olives with feta cheese, and a variety of sauces to dip in. For the next course, Lisa had a Greek salad and I had the sanaki. It turns out you can't have open flames on a ship so my cheese was not on fire, but it was still delish. For the main course, Lisa tried the pasta dish that was similar to fettuccine alfredo, but Greek style. I had the lamb shank that I found very good, and it was a favorite among the passengers we talked to on the cruise as well. For dessert, we shared a fruit top creme brulee and bananas fosters. They were both presented very well and tasted amazing. Overall, our experience at the Cyprus restaurant was great, and we really enjoyed the service and a five-star four-course meal. In this video, 
We will also show you some clips of incredible shows we got to see while aboard the Beyond, along with some fun activities that were available while cruising. Speaking of activities, if you're cruising with children, Celebrity is likely not your cruise line. While children are allowed on the ship, there are not as many activities for them as there are on other cruise lines, such as Carnival or Royal Caribbean. We had the most fun at the Silent Disco. Here, you are fitted up with your own headphones that play up to three different channels. Each channel has its own DJ that are all playing to get the most people dancing to their beat. You will see who's winning popularity by the light color that is on each of the headsets that people are wearing. This was an impossible, and when I tell you who she said, you will realize I did not write this, okay? She goes, you know who you look like? I go, who? She goes, Obama. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They're going back. The Normandy restaurant is also one of the four main dining rooms that are part of the cruise, so there is no additional charge to eat here. The theme is Normandy French cuisine, but they still offer the same standard dishes they call the classics for all four main dining halls, which include a chicken dish, a beef dish, and a salmon dish. As with all the ship restaurants, they start you off with an assortment of breads and flavored butter. If you like wine with your dinner, it's a good idea to order a bottle. And if you don't drink the entire bottle, they will put the cork back in it and save it for your next dinner. If you plan to dine at a different restaurant, you could always take the bottle back to the room with you and take it to your next dinner. Your dinner, of course, starts out with an appetizer. Lisa had the scallop dish. Not sure that happened, as she is not really fond of scallop. We never order the same dish because we want to show you as many of the selections as possible when we are reviewing a restaurant. I had the baked brie appetizer and thought both appetizers were very good, although I preferred the baked brie over the scallop dish. For a main course, Lisa had ravioli, and mine was Chateaubriand, which was a beef tenderloin wrapped in a pastry and garnished with beef. We topped off our dinner with a nice creme brulee and a wonderful fruit pastry dish. The Normandy restaurant was fine dining, and we really enjoyed the food. The service was also excellent, very attentive, and friendly. The amenities on board were top-notch. From the luxurious spa and gym facilities to an exquisite dining option, there's something for everyone on board. The entertainment options include shows, live music, parties, and more, all offering a truly unique experience at sea. While the Beyond has many different itineraries through the year, ours left out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, making its first stop in St. Martin after being at sea for two days. There we boarded the Stars and Stripes Regatta Racing Sailboat. More about that later. Like 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Our next stop was St. Thomas, where we went diving in the beautiful Caribbean waters, and finally making our way to Porta Plata in the Dominican Republic. There we had an amazing adventure four-wheeling through the backcountry of the DR, and then jumping into the Blue Hole and sliding down natural waterfalls. Stay tuned to see our amazing adventures. The Tescan restaurant is another one of the four main dining rooms that are part of the cruise, so there is no charge to eat here. The theme is Italian, with dishes like homemade pasta and other familiar Italian dishes. They start you off with an assortment of bread and flavored butter again for our 
appetizer. I chose the roasted pumpkin salad and Lisa had the eggplant bruschetta. Both were very good, although both of us thought the pumpkin salad was better. For main course, Lisa chose another cheesy pasta dish and I went for the bone-in pork chop, which was very tender and tasty. I think all the pastas are homemade, so we found it hard to go wrong ordering pasta dishes. The desserts here are always wonderful as well, with offerings like tiramisu and creme brulee. We ordered something we had never heard of before, just because we always like discovering new things when eating out. Overall, the Tuscan is a great place to have dinner while on board the Celebrity Beyond Cruise. The service is attentive and friendly, and the food is definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a good Italian meal. The Cosmopolitan restaurant is the last of the four main dining rooms that are part of the cruise. So of course there is no additional charge to eat here. The theme of this restaurant is eclectic and offers a mix of dishes from around the world. When we arrived at the restaurant, they've started us off with an assortment of breads and flavored butter, just like the other three. For our appetizers, Lisa chose the French onion soup, which is on the classic menu, and I had the escargot that is also on the classic menu. Both are a specialty of the cruise line. And for our main courses, Lisa went with the pan-seared black cod, while I opted for the oxtail dinner. The oxtail was not really oxtail, but it was in the correct shape. It was more like braised beef rolled into a cylinder shape. It was however really good. Lisa wasn't really fond of the cod but the good news is if you don't like something the wait staff will be more than happy to bring you an alternative dish. You just need to ask. The desserts here are also really good with offerings like cheesecake and apple pie a la mode. We decided to try the tiramisu and their signature carrot cake. Both were amazing. Overall the Cosmopolitan restaurant is definitely worth checking out while on board the celebrity cruise. The food was excellent and as always the service was attentive and friendly. Highly recommended. The Eden Cafe is a casual dining option located at the back of the ship just above the Eden restaurant of which we will get to later. We found this to be an amazing hidden gem on the cruise. Not a lot of people knew about it, so it was a wonderful place to get lunch without fighting the crowds at the buffet line. They serve gourmet sandwiches, soup, and salads that were over the top delicious. I recommend checking this place out at least once during your cruise aboard the Beyond. Alright, here we are. We're going to Eden. The long sought after Eden. Yes, long yes. sought after Eden. Here's the interesting thing is everybody wants to go to Eden. We heard from several different people on this cruise that have tried to get to this restaurant. It took us a little bit to get here, right? Yeah, and they couldn't get reservations. So, yeah. I'm excited tonight. We're eating at Eden, and it's supposed to be a culinary, visual, extraordinary, for all the senses type of dinner. So, so let's see what it really let's is. Let's see what it is. Let's, let's go to Eden. You wanna go to Eden? Yeah, let's go to Eden. Let's go to Eden. <laughs> I think it's my new favorite cruise line. Yeah. 
he's already done that. You've with already, the down payment. You have? Yeah, well, it's the next one. It's a hundred bucks for two yeah. And it's even two hundred. Yeah, I know. I know. So I think, yeah, but I don't okay. know where. You don't know where you're going? Okay. Right, so for you here, you have the, uh, the fish. It's okay. covered with an end dynamic pivot. Okay. Top one with some chef and red bell pepper. Okay. And served with oh. curry sauce. Oh, yeah. nice. Is this what that woman has to up? Did she just take baking with her? Remember? It's an experience, all of them. I can hear the flavor, the different combinations of flavor. The open kitchen. I a different combination of flavors is so unique that I haven't had it anywhere else that that made it in and of itself really cool. It's not as intimate of a place as I expected it to be. Right. And the open kitchen and everything is different that. Um, I expected more for some reason dinner and a show. <laughs> Our ukulele band. Yeah. Yes, we got that. All right. Okay. Okay. So you know, maybe it's been a long day at sea. Some of you at the back having a little snooze after a big dinner. We are the ukulele band. Yeah. When you don't want to take the time for a sit-down meal or want to see the food you're getting, then the Ocean View Cafe is for you. The Ocean View Cafe is a huge buffet that has just about everything your heart desires. They have a wide selection of food that ranges from pizza to burgers to Asian stir-fry, Mexican dishes, and more. The desserts here are great as well, with several ice cream flavors available every day. Everything you eat, right down to the bread, is handmade right on the ship every day, so you know you're getting the freshest food available every time you eat. Overall, the Celebrity Cruise was one of my best experiences ever, and I highly recommend it. From the staff to the amenities, to all the great activities at Ports of Call, this experience is definitely worth it. If you're looking for an unforgettable journey at sea, then look no further than the Celebrity Beyond Cruise. You won't regret it. Okay. This so is... here we are, we're leaving the Celebrity Beyond. Sad to see the end of our trip. It was a great one. We will definitely be back on Celebrity. We give it 12 thumbs up. Have uh, favorite cruise so far. Yeah. It's been very good. Awesome. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for more